Happy Wednesday. I'm Kristen Strakolaitis with your morning update. Two San Angelo Fire Department firefighters are recovering from injuries after fighting a pawn shop fire. San Angelo Assistant Fire Chief says a motorist first called to report smoke coming from the EZ Pond building on South Bryant Tuesday evening. Firefighters made a quick attack in dangerous, very hot conditions. Please detour the traffic around the 2000 block of South Bryant. The chief says they were concerned about backdraft and potential explosion. A man from San Angelo is jailed thanks to help uh, from a phone app. Two weeks ago, SAPD officers saw Jimmy Garcia pushing a lawnmower across the street. Police arrested him at the time for outstanding warrants as well as a drug possession. Police were monitoring the neighborhood from a surveillance app, Neighboring by Ring app. That's when they noticed a video on the app labeled, Man in All Red Stole Lawnmower from Carport. Police were able to identify the man as Jimmy Garcia. He is now also charged with burglary of a building. St. Angelo's Chamber of Commerce numbers show that the unemployment rate in the Contra Valley is still low. Part of the reason for a strong economy in and around St. Angelo is the continued development in the oil industry. The oil industry is also helping St. Angelo housing and hotel market. And what that's done is that has created a ripple effect throughout West Texas. San Angelo is very close to the edge, the eastern shelf of the Permian Basin, uh, and it has created a lot of prosperity for a lot of companies. Looney also says there is pressure on the workforce and companies to meet deadlines and meet safety regulations at the same time. And now let's see what's happening in the Weather Center with Cody Adams. Cody. Hey, Kristen. I got some good news for a lot of us, which I know we desperately need. That's the rain. We're going to take a look at the future cast here. You can see about 2.30 this afternoon. We could see some pop-up showers in and around San Angelo. Also, off here into the eastern portion of the Contra Valley around Brady and Merton. You can see that. And uh, by about midnight, that's certainly out of the way for a lot of us. We're talking triple digits today, tomorrow, and Friday to round out the work week.